Hello everyone and welcome to Factorium. I'm Par and uh, I'm gonna be playing my Deathhold map now. So we have lots of biters, but uh, we are able to uh, still, you know, defend from them <laughs> for the most part. <laughs> Um, I think in the previous episode I came up with this awesome plan to build, um, or at least try building uh, red circuit production on the right side, over here. Let's try to do that and see whether this even works. Because I, I'm not sure, I'm not sure whether that's a good idea or not, but we could definitely give it a try. So, how would our red circuits be built? Let's let's see. Uh, first of all, let's try to do it without any modules. I'm not sure we have enough space here, to be honest. But even if we don't have enough space here, we could just move the wall a little bit further away. Right. Actually, I think that's it. That's what we want to do. Um, okay, let, let, let's see. Let's see. Uh, how exactly are we building them? Because I don't remember. I think I, I really wanted, like I really liked in the past to have like, a build with these things and then six maybe red socket ones, something like this. I think that's how I used to build them. So the question is, can we... Right, so we... Let's see. We need electronic circuit. We need plastic bar. And we need copper cable. So let's say the output will be in the middle. Here we'll have electronic circuits. And plastic. Here we'll also have electronic circuits and plastic. We'll have a copy of that on the other side. And we'll have a belt, I don't know, of copper, let's say. So, this thing so far seems pretty good, actually. This is looking pretty good. Oh, I didn't leave enough room here. So, something like this. We don't really have lots of space for beacons. I mean, we don't really have space for beacons here, but we could uh, maybe swap it like this. So we'll have, we'll need 84 if we put two, three prod modules and one speed module. We'll need 84 of uh, red circuit thingies in here. Let's take a look, let's make sure. So, in one, in one second, we'll be getting four copper cable. And here, in one second, we'll need to consume okay, four of them if you have six of these buildings. So six plus six, it's 12, right? And we have 84. Uh, let me show this out. 84 divided by 12. We'll need seven of these blocks. That's great. I think we can do that. I feel like we have uh, enough space maybe even just above there to make all this work. Right, let's uh, see exactly how um, everything will work here. It will get, we'll get two belts of copper. This are basically our two belts of copper. And we'll get... Okay, we'll need to get slightly more than two belts of uh, so we need 1.3 red belts of electronic circuits and plastic bar that means what that means is that we can actually use blue belts in the future here and everything should work let's try to design that uh, red circuits now yeah let's do this so we'll want to be uh, getting like a lot of Circuits from there. We want to be getting like two per second, and this should be able to provide that. 
and then we'll have um okay let's figure this out this is input this is output let's try to build this part because there is a very specific way i used to build um right circuit production and i would like to keep doing it like that so this is input the input this is output we can copy this a couple of times here and here nice now that we have this we need to fit this a lot of copper cables so let's say we'll be was i really doing it like that because i remember experiencing issues with like fitting everything but i don't really see any issues at this point um maybe i was doing maybe i can make it even more narrow let's try let's see can i make it more narrow too simple we can we can do better we can do something more interesting here uh, let's see let's see let's say the output will go here let's say this is the output right uh, yeah, like this the output goes in the direction and we need to match it okay let's try to do it like this let's say we'll have um something like that okay, this could be the output but then we still have a problem we need to somehow get the input from there so if this is one input and we're doing something like that maybe even from here to like over there like this with uh, another belt we could have things being taken here from here like this and uh, I guess we could just match things like that. Let's see. We can have um, red belts here, right? So this could be okay, this is the output, this is the input, the input. But we are still missing the input from here. But we're still missing something. Interesting. Really interesting. I cannot remember how I used to do this. Output. I don't remember at all. Let's let's try differently. Let's say we we'll have this thing going kind of here. Like that. Remember, I, I had like really cool builds. I used to have really cool builds, but now I don't remember how to get it, how to, how to make it work. But 
This could be the input of the wire. But then we'll have to jump across like that. And that already makes it impossible for us to do pretty much anything else. You know what? Let's forget about this cool build that at some point I used. For that, let's just do a simple one. I remember there were like splitters on the ground belts and whatnot, and a belt kind of waving like left and right. Let's just build something simple. It's gonna work, and I will be happy if it just works. <laughs> right, let's do this. Okay, we'll get it like this, like this, and I guess something like this. Now, the trick is that we need to add, I guess, two times more, like this many um, inserters here. Let's do this. Uh, we will. How, how should we do that? Maybe we'll do it like that. Okay, maybe something like this. And uh, we would need to add inserters taken these things from this belt. Yeah, we'll, we'll be using simple build this time. It's okay. I don't remember the, the good one. Well, this is also good. This is good good build, by the way. There's nothing bad with it. Actually, it's, it might be better. Yes, I realize now. This is pretty cool because we'll be able to place some um, some beacons right in the middle. So this is actually better than whatever I had in mind before that. Right, we'll do that. Uh, we will send these things up there. And we'll need to connect it all with some power. How should we do this? Let's see. One, two, three, four. And we'll have power connection, uh, I guess, here. And here. Like this. And we could actually... Uh, make this thing work like that. Yes. Let's do it like this. So we basically have a build now that should be working and working fine. Let's just copy it and let's see how far up we can place it and how many um, basically copies we could place. Um, we can have it going there because we don't need to have this belt going further than this right it's just not needed then let's paste it here oh wait we cannot there is this line um we'll fix this we'll we'll have to fix this somehow all right it's not even gonna be that that hard it should be relatively straightforward so make it work We'll just connect things like this, like this, like this. Yeah, here it is. It's back, it's back, it's working again. Now this part, uh, there's this thing and another... Another pipe. Let's see what we can do. We... could make this a little bit easier to cross, but let's just do it like that, like this. So we crossed it, nice. Um, let's place another copy. Oh, we had a radar here, right? I almost forgot. Let's place it back. So we have right now, what? One, two, three, four copies, and we need two more. Right, we'd like to add two more copies here. We'll add one here, one, and we'll have another one right here too. So now the only thing that's missing is the output belt. We need to 
connect these things, like properly connect them. The output is actually placed over there. This input, do we need it there? We don't need it. Yeah, I think that's it. I think that is it. Now, the only kind of problem here, well, it's not one problem. We will need, we'll need to do a couple of things. We'll need to upgrade these belts, especially these two, to the red ones. And we'll need to somehow send stuff over there. So let's figure this out. How exactly would we do it? The output, let's say we'll be bringing the output kind of on the side, right, like this. I probably shouldn't be zoomed in when uh, like doing anything with this build. <laughs> this might be a good idea. Not to be zoomed in, that is. Um, right. We will need to bring some copper over there. We could we could move this a little bit down, kind of like this. And this should allow us, I think, to yes, rotate this, bring copper there. We can bring even more copper here, like this. So this will be our other, like extra kind of copper, and it will go there. So we have two belts of copper, and we'll grab them right from here. We will send stuff to the right and here we will also send stuff to the right and the right is actually the priority priority right right um kinda almost because i want to make sure that this thing is also prioritized so priority left yeah like this and now we are merging, merging them so that we don't have to I don't think about these things too much. They'll be balanced at that point. We, we don't have space to balance them uh, over there, right? So that's kind of the problem. Okay, now we have it. And we'll upgrade this to... Well, this will stay like red belt once we have better copper consumption there. Okay, let's see. We need to send some stuff over there. So specifically, we need to send... How should we do it? We basically want to have something like... This stuff. And kind of... That... Stuff. We want to have something like this. Like that. But I'm not sure whether it's looking good enough or not. Alright. Oh, right, 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 right. We... Okay. It's it's a bit more difficult than that. So the problem. The problem. Let's try to understand the problem. The problem is that we have two belts of red coming in. And we have two belts of green uh, coming in. So this we could have Oh, sorry, plastic. Two belts of uh, plastic, two belts of green stuff coming in. We can... We will have to use blue belt here. We know that, right? We realize that that will have to happen. Now, the question is... The question now is... How exactly do we match these belts so that they kind of look nice and like work properly with each other? So let's say we will have like one thing could be matched very, very easily just like that. Right? We imagine basically two plastic or whatever green belts with the thing, and here we could actually do exactly the same thing. Like that. We could just bring it all up, we can merge it, 
and we can send it on its way over there. Like this. So now our goal. What is our goal? Our goal is to bring some plastic. We can bring plastic basically right from here. So this can be our plastic. 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 Yeah, we are kind of sending it along the the rails. Maybe it's not the best thing, but you no. Know, we are saving lots of space in the uh, base itself. So I think that's uh, pretty important. Now, what are we doing here? We will send majority of the thing to the right. And here, majority of the stuff will be sent to the right. So right will have the priority. Okay. Have priority. Right. And here. Right. Has priority. And we are merging things here. Yeah, that is good. Now. This part will not be needed. We will not need more plastic sent to the left. Because it's like, yeah. Majority is going to like right here. Now, the problem that we face is we need to bring the circuits. Right, another thing is this copper. Do we actually want something? Like, do we want it to be on the left side or, or not? Let's see what we can do. We could, in theory, be bringing the copper. Uh, directly from here like this could be actually our copper and this could be our iron so let's say this is iron we are letting it go like that okay send the majority to the right and it means that it's not coming through. However, right. Oh no, I made it slightly not nice. Oh, what's happening? Let me like throw something in there okay let's say we are removing all of that uh, again let's say we don't need logistic boss or something or maybe we don't need this ones yeah let's just not carry any wagons sounds like a good idea and maybe we'll limit this to five as well not that we need five okay so this is our copper. Let's say our copper is actually coming from here. That means that this copper, this copper, will be sent over there and not here. So we can remove this. And this whole part, this whole thing, will be sent kind of over there. In it, so we have to go down like this. So the copper comes from this side here. Some copper is being sent in that direction, some is being returned. So the copper that is being sent in that direction. Oh, this is like this is looking so strange. What we're doing here? Um, right. Uh, we we got to figure this part out and make it a little bit better. Right. This part doesn't need any any copper at all. We don't need any copper here. We just need to have iron here. So let's deliver iron, and we could do it. Um, like uh, this, right? That's the iron. Kinda. 
The problem is that we wanted our iron to also go to the left. How can we do this? So we need to split some iron but to go to the right. We actually do not have to do this now that I think about it. We don't really have to split the iron. We just could do that. Right, 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 right. right. I, I think I see. Inside the board to the right. We could send some iron over there. We don't have to. And we could do something similar here with the iron. We could again send some iron over there. And again we don't have to. Now the copper that is coming from this side okay, this is not the copper line by the way. I let's let's forget about this one. This is not the copper. Let's actually collect all of this. Oh no. Let's do the following. Let's say we don't want more than a hundred of this. And we don't want more than a hundred of this. And we probably don't want more than 500. What else do we have? Uh, 400, okay, but not more than 500. This thing. No more than 50. No more than 50. Bullets. We don't need this many bullets. We are not actually using them. So we want at least uh, 400, but not more than 600. Will this help? This we don't need. This we probably don't need. This we don't need. Leaf explosives we do need. Repair packs we don't need too many. Let's say no more than. Uh, 400. Yeah, okay. Let's do something. Let's collect these things from the belt. To make it slightly, you know, better. And we'll have all of this coming from that side. Good. Now what we can do here, we can actually, we can actually clear this part. And we can say, how should we do it? We can say, okay, here is here are green chips. We are sending part of them in that direction. Let's say majority is going to the left. And uh, some of them will go to the right. Right? So that's that's what we are doing. We are merging them and are basically saying that majority is going to the left and some of them are going to the right like that and these green chips are the ones that we will you know, bring down there right here and these are exactly the ones that will be sending to the red circuit production This seems to be working, except we didn't finish, uh, we didn't fully fix uh, like the other part. We can do this, let's see. We'll have uh, something like this set up there and uh, we'll need a mix of We'll need a mix of green circuits, or uh, not green circuits, we'll need a mix of uh, copper and um, of copper and iron going there. How can we make it work? We could send the mix of stuff over there, like this. We'll just need to actually merge them a little bit. How can we do that? So the iron can just go there, the copper can, or maybe the iron could go from the other side, from this side, and the copper could be sent from this side, like this. I think this is uh, looking pretty good. Yeah. 
so we fix like we figured this out. I believe we figured this out. It will work like this. Nice. So it's it's working, and this part can also you know, go like this. So now majority of the copper will be delivered to that side. Plastic is getting delivered. Green circuits are getting delivered. What exactly are we missing at this point? Oh, we have artillery. Look at that. We got artillery. This is great. I think that's awesome. Are we missing any buildings? We are missing some uh, underground belts, um, like the red ones. That's okay. We are also missing... That's really strange. How come we are missing... Like, train... Things. Is it somewhere here? Oh, look at that. Yes, this took got destroyed. Yeah, it's okay. So let's observe what's happening. We are getting some um, green Sorry, not, not green. We are getting some um, red circuits being produced. So we are supposed to get some red circuits uh, delivered over there. I'm not quite sure why we did it this way when we could have no, did it like this. Okay, let's see. So we have lots and lots of stuff getting delivered to us. We will beacon them a little bit. So this will happen at some point, right? We just want this build to work. Or to somewhat work. We can actually move it slightly to the right. And if we move it slightly to the right, we'll have some space for beacons. Let's not think about it like uh, just yet. Let's just kind of keep in mind that we have some options in terms of what to do with this uh, build. And uh, I would maybe like to bring the circuits over there. Okay. Is it actually working what we are doing? I think it's working. So I'd like to bring them over there. Maybe like this, and we'll have red circuits being delivered here. Good. And we'll place this part so that we have lots of green chips in the network. Okay, let's take a look what is actually happening. We are getting a lot of green chips. We found place where we'll be producing red ones and yeah right now the speed of this belt of this belts is not quite fast enough for what we want but we can actually improve it we can say that we are upgrading this belt to this speed we can do it right now and we can do it let's do it on, from map view so we will do it from here to here and we'll do it from here to here oh I see I get it now I need to upgrade this thing as well and I believe there was another crossing like fuel crossing okay it's this one and the oil we managed to cross Correctly. Okay. These things are upgraded. This, this, and this. Are we producing the stuff? I think we, we are. Okay, so with that, like, just look at this. The amount of uh, green circuits that, sorry, not green, red ones that we are building. We have a lot of green circuits and we save the space. The most important kind of thing. We save the space on the side, so we. And this should be enough. This should be enough. I'll just beacon it a little bit. Alright, one thing that I'd like to do now. I would like to very, very quickly set up underground belt production. So we have underground belts like the, the yellow ones. I would like to have 
I would like to have uh, red ones as well. Okay, if we do it like this, will our robots help us? Or not? Do we even have... Um, yeah, stuff is a little bit slow. Let's figure out what do we want. Laser. Do we want it? I mean, we aren't really planning on going for laser turrets, but this one might be nice. Personal as a defense. I hope it doesn't remove the achievement. Breaking force. Oh, worker robot carcass size. Yes. Worker robot speed. Sure, but let's get the absolute, like, the most important ones first. Here we can get this three. Um, nuclear power would be nice. And it's probably pretty cheap. We'll see. So we're actually building this. What are the robots? When, when will this be built? Okay, okay, okay. The robots are here. Nice. Uh, let's uh, do the following. Let's say here that we are producing these belts, and here we are producing the splitters. Okay, good. That's good. There is some request. We are requesting some stuff. Okay, everything is looking great. We have lots of green circuits. We have lots of red circuits now. Like, we have like really huge amounts of them. It means that we don't really need this build. And green circuits, we are delivering them here. We can kind of do the same for red ones there, to be honest. I could just say that, you know, we want to request 200 show of red ones. Yeah, let's do this. Let's just do this. Simple. And we will not need uh, this part of the build at all. We will be able to remove it. I, I, I'm gonna keep it for now, just because... Um, yeah. Just because I want to be a little bit safe with what I'm doing. And because we don't have that many robots, like if you look at it... Well, we actually do have lots of robots. We do have lots of robots. So, yep. Our base is slowly transforming. And it's looking better and better. Like each episode, we are doing something that makes me like the base more and more. Okay, so here we, we will get all of this updated to red belt, which should allow Basically, it, it will cause this whole thing to back up, I feel. I think that's the idea. All of this will be backed up. And, yeah. That will be pretty good. Okay, can we... Oh, we don't have uh, processing units. We'll need to improve this thing a little bit. Yeah. I guess that will be the next step, kinda. Not exactly, because we'll need to find the space. We'll need to figure out exactly where we can build blue circuits. But we definitely don't need green circuits built here. We don't need green circuit built there. And we shouldn't need red circuit built right here. Okay, good. Let's uh, take a break. We got red circuits today. Thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next episode. Cheers!